Well, you know, pastors really do play an incredibly important role in people's health. I mean, both from a mental health standpoint as well as physical. From a mental health standpoint, you know that pastors provide more counseling than somebody figured it out when they, they calculated out, okay, there are about 350,000 pastors in the United States and, and pastors spend on average about, oh, 15% of their time counseling in some way, marital counseling or individual counseling. They figured out how many hours that was. That turned out to be the same amount that the entire membership of the American Psychological Association provides working 38 hours per week. Wow. So it's the, really the pastors, they're at the, front, at the front line of most of the emotional problems and challenges that people face. So they play an, incredi an incredibly important role in, in helping people get through, in their congregation, get through these things. Now, of course, that requires that the pastor's in pretty good shape, too, mm -hmm. mentally and emotionally, because it's tough to counsel people if, you know, if you're having problems yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's from one standpoint. Now, from a physical standpoint, of course, the pastor is also the role model in mm -hmm. terms of just their physical health, you know, their, their exercise, their diet, their weight, their blood pressure. If the pastor is in a mess in terms of their physical health, that's not going to be much of a role model for the, mm -hmm. for the faith community, mm -hmm. you know. And so yeah. they play a really important role in terms of modeling for others in the congregation on how to live their lives. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's not easy either. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, you know, in the early studies, pastors really were the healthiest people within the community. Mm -hmm. Among professionals, they were the healthiest. Wow. They lived significantly longer than, than any other professional group, longer than doctors. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Now, in the last 10 years, I don't know what's been going on, but and I'm not sure if it's really changed that much, but there is some talk that it's it's getting worse. It's uh, like the health of pastors seems to be getting worse. Part of it, I think, has to do with the demands that are placed on pastors. Uh -huh. You know, in the old days, well, old days, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, 30 years ago, whatever, the pastor was the most educated person in their congregation. Mm -hmm. That was, so they were looked up with esteem and, you know, not only did they, were they the best educated, but they also, naturally, they were the men of faith. They right. were the people through whom God spoke, you know, in, in terms. So there was tremendous respect and honor mm -hmm. given to pastors. That's kind of changed here in the last 20 or 30 years. You know, the pastor is now supposed to be a Rick Warren, basically. Uh -huh. You know, the guy that, that, that's on television, that's evangelizing that's writing and cool that's yes and that's just able just just able to do everything mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you know people in the congregation start expecting that of their pastor and many times in the congregation you're going to have very well educated people much more so than the pastor mm -hmm. and so they're going to be more likely to challenge the pastors and that respect level you know just in our country i think has just in general has gone down now that puts pressure on pastors and on their family members to like live this ideal life and yet have a zillion other expectations which is going to affect their health mm -hmm. and their ability to provide that those role models and also that counseling that their their congregations desperately need so there's a there's a big demand on a big burden if you will on the pastor any ideas how pastors today cuz you think most of them aren't like the Rick Warren types, you know, most of them are with small congregations and struggling to handle a lot of different things. Any ideas what they can do to keep themselves healthy? I think, you know, from a physical standpoint, I think the pastors need to be very careful in, in how they eat mm -hmm. and take time to exercise. I think those are really critical things pastors need to do. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that a lot of times you're so busy with all these demands, you 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 don't attend to those things. Mm -hmm. That then comes back to bite you unless you do. And so that's critical. Another is, you know, you do have to take time with your family because they're going to be your your base of support. Mm -hmm. You know, when uh, when you get kicked out of your congregation or <laughs> you know you lose your job, so you know it's going to you're going to be left with your uh -huh. family. And so, you know, that becomes critical. Again, just like exercise and diet, your mm -hmm. family becomes really important. Um, and, 
then in terms of a course you know it all really begins with your spiritual life mm -hmm. and I hate to you know as a non-clergy be saying this you know and I, I have to say it with you know I have to turn with my spiritual life that's probably why I'm saying it is uh, but you know the spiritual life is where everything begins it all begins there your ability to balance things you know really is there that's 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 where you get it from that's where you are able to if you have a good relationship with God, then you can discipline yourself. That will hopefully lead to your ability to discipline yourself in ways that are healthy. Mm -hmm. So it really begins there. I know it does for me. As soon as I get off track, boy, I'm, I'm, I get off track really fast. Mm -hmm. I can tell in a moment when you know other areas just start falling down. Yeah, but so it sounds like it's even like the research with other folks. You know, if you. If you've got a strong religious base, the beliefs and the activities, for regular congregants, that's something that makes them healthier. And I guess it would make sense that would work for the pastors as well. Absolutely. We're all human beings. Mm -hmm. We're all leveled out here. And so, you know, if one thinks that the pastor is going to be this, this spiritual giant, but, you know, the pastor is just like everybody else. They're just a human being. they got the same false a lot of times. Well, they have the same faults that, that all of us have. Mm -hmm. They have the same struggles. And, and in fact, some of them are even greater because of the position they're in. So they are facing more stress than the normal person. Mm -hmm. And so that requires even more attention then mm -hmm. to that spiritual life. That's good.